welcome back to another video. Now in this video we will be checking out the Goliath Warship. Now this is a design I have made by myself. Uh, it's one of my very first ships. It will be available on the workshop, so feel free to check that out. As you can see, it's quite a well-armored warship. Now at the front here we have a missile um, array with a camera so you can target your enemies. Um, I went for the classic Star Destroyer type trench design as this protects the turrets quite well from enemy fire. Moving around the back, we have some really well armored thrusters just around the back here so it will be very hard to target these thrusters. We also have another one just back here as well. Going underneath we have these landing gears um, which you can then land on moons with this planet. Uh, this ship is not planet capable, however it can land on the moon. And I have tested this and it works pretty well. Uh, below here we have a hangar bay and we'll check that out very shortly. Moving along more to the front area we have these landing lights which I will demonstrate later on in the video. And as well as more landing legs and more turrets. We also have the same engine configuration on the ship just along here. Now let's move inside. Right, so the only entrance to this ship is actually this door here. There's one on each side. So we're just going to open that up. And as you can see, it's got some special lights. And it will tell you when the door is ready. It turns green, and you can enter. Okay, this is the large hangar area. So you can dock up quite a number of ships in here as you can see you've got pretty much connectors everywhere we've got some refineries for your survival needs as well as some assemblers and there are other assemblers spread throughout the ship moving down here around we have a control panel for the main doors so if we go on ahead and open these up i think the controls are on this side here we go As you can see, it opens up quite nicely just down to the moon below, which is quite a nice shot actually. Uh, this entire ship is also pressurized, so you can remove your helmet and run around in survival. Moving back further into the ship, we have the medical rooms. Back here as well as, as, well as some programmable blocks in case you feel like you need to put any codes in the ship does already have a few scripts in place such as automatic doors and the inventory system. Uh, just back here we've got cargo pods behind these bits here um, which work quite nicely. Moving through here we have the thrusters as you can see uh, just so it opens it up made it nice and clear and visible just add a bit of feature to the ship I guess. Just turn my lights off so you can see the real effect of it. Looks quite cool. Right, moving back even further, this is uh, at the very end of the ship. This is the main control housing for the thrusts and gyroscopes, as well as a few gravity generators. Uh, the lighting back here is very red, uh, sort of sticking with the theme of the ship of this warship model. Now, moving back towards the front of the ship going to head up to the bridge section, which is just up here. So we come through this door here, uh, and we turn around, this is the backup control bridge, or the area where you can also control the hangar, which is quite useful. You can, you know, sit in this seat, um, and just, you know, chill out here. We've got some cryopods. Also check out the ship and that beautiful view just there. Alright. We've got eight crow pods on here, so you can you and a bunch of friends can do a bit of a survival. And if any of you need to go AFK, you can go on here to jump on with those. Right, moving forward here we have the jump drives. So these are we've got two on the ship, which give it quite a good range. Um, and you can clearly, clearly see them in case they're damaged. Moving down here, 
this is the main battery storage and reactor rooms. So as you can see, there's quite a few reactors and batteries in here. This is the main central housing for all of these parts. Um, and it's just nicely dimly lit, so you can just barely see. Uh, but it is quite, quite nice. Uh, it's the exact same on the opposite side of the ship. And the ship can run on half of the required bits. Moving up to the bridge section here, we've got the bridge overlay here. Uh, right in the centre here we have the uh, artificial horizon, which is quite useful um, for people on the bridge. As well as a few other things, just gravity, um, how much hydrogen power we have available to us, how fast we're going, and of course the faction logo that may change over time. Uh, through here we have the control room. Uh, so this is pretty major on the ship, this is where all your gunners will be. Um, and where you can perform some basic tasks for navigation or anything along those lines. And that's pretty much it on the ship. So we're going to do a small little flight here just to check some maneuverability. As you can see, it is not too large of a ship, but it is probably very expensive to produce in survival. However, it is doable and it is well worth it. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to descend down to the planet. And as you can see, it's got quite a good response to the controls. So we're just going to head on down to the planet's surface. Okay, and here we are back on the planet's surface. So as you can see, it is quite stable at the moment as well, so it is capable of landing on a Mars, sorry, a uh, moon planet. Uh, it currently cannot land on any Earth planets, and I will conduct further testing on other celestial bodies. But as you can see, it's got quite good acceleration here, and a decent stopping power for its size. So we're just going to locate a nice flat area, this one just over here, and we're going to demonstrate the final functions of this ship. I will be using a later video detailing the ship's combat abilities, as well as doing a combat test. If you're interested in that, please head back to the channel and join me test. Alright, here we go. So we're just going to use the landing cycle here. So we're just going to bring up the HUD for a second. Alright, here we go. So as we can see, we've got multiple options here. So, um, I will have a look at that uh, first section very shortly um, in another video. However, the main function we want to test here is the landing. So as we can see, we've got our landing systems here. So we're going to extend those by pressing number six. And we're going to also activate our landing lights. And as you can see, those lights just come on nicely and those pistons will extend. We're going to begin slowly descending. Just nice and, nice and slowly. surface. Once we're down, we're going to park and we are locked in place. Of course, if you want to leave the planet's surface or lower the ship even more than it is, you could lower the pistons. I will not be doing this, however, you can play with this when you get the ship. So we're just going to then now unlock those landing legs and bring them back up and deactivate those landing lights and we're going to head on up so. okay awesome and we can then move away from the planets to our desired location
thank you everyone so much for watching i do hope you enjoy this craft that i've just put up in the workshop the link will be in the description and remember as always stay safe